man. Yeah. It's rapid. It, oh my god, it doesn't get any better than that. That's the best sound in motorcycling. Oh god, it's so good. Alrighty, everybody, what is going on? Welcome to a very, very, very special episode of Yammy Noob. Today, we're doing the first ride and impression on our new giveaway motorcycle, the 2021 Aprilia Tuono V4 Factory. Oh, I'm so excited about this motorcycle. If you guys saw my big reveal and review of it, well, I guess it wasn't a review, it was just a reveal. Uh, you guys know that I I love, 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 love the Tuono. Uh, and I am not the only one who will simp publicly for it. This is a much adored, much talked about naked bike. Uh, it's pretty much the class leading motorcycle. Let's be honest here. Most manufacturers are kind of gunning for the Tuono because it is just so good. Now, before I get into uh, specifications, ride and review, all that stuff, as I mentioned, this is a giveaway motorcycle. I would be remiss to remind you guys that uh, you can go over to merch.yaminoob.co or shop.yaminoob.co. If you use the code V4X, you will get yourself 4X entries for every dollar you spend and 10% off your entire order, and that'll get you entered for this Aprilia right here. So if you get yourself a $30 hat or something like that, you will get one 120 entries to win this bike. You're not going to want to miss it. Um, that, that I'm telling you, you're not going to want to miss getting under to win this motorcycle because if you miss out on this one, you will be very sad. So what makes this fantastic looking motorcycle so special? So Aprilia starts this hyper naked motorcycle with the RSV4. Yes, the almighty open class super bike that they have. They start with that frame and swing arm now. Uh, the new 2021 Aprilia Tuonos have the updated upside down three-piece swing arm that the new RSV4s has. And uh, this is a super bike frame, guys. So this isn't some trellis frame like the ZH2 or some BS like that. This is just a super bike frame. So the way this thing handles around corners is just sublime. The star of the show, of course, though, is this honking, stonking 1077cc, 65 degree, v4 engine right here this is not the same as the new 1099 cc v4 they're using in the rsv4 this is still the old 1077 that does not mean it's bad that does not mean it's slow that does not mean you should only get the 1099 uh this thing makes 175 horsepower and 89 foot pounds of torque which is almighty and prodigious the spike's also been updated with the suite of electronics from the RSV4, all the APRC stuff from the uh, new RSV4. Comes with cruise control now, which is a really sweet feature. And uh, it is just a sublime bike, man. So I say enough talking about it. Let's swing a leg. Let's ride it. Let's review it. Let's get into it. Beautiful TFT dash here comes to life. Let's put this bad boy in neutral. Hear that V4, guys. That is a stock can on there. And you know we're not going to leave it stock. You know we're going to get an exhaust on this bad boy. Listen to this thing. Ultra spicy. All right. Let's take off. Let's go have some fun, shall we? Oh, it's so good. Just, just listen to this. That is so very good. All right, so when you look at the hyper naked market nowadays, you gotta differentiate yourself, right? You've got stuff like the MT-10, the ZH2, the Super Dukes, your uh, MV Agusta, Dragster, Brutales, all those bikes. You've got the new Ducati Street Fighter V4S, uh, very premium, very cool uh, V4 super naked bike, hyper naked bike as it were. Uh, this Tuono has always been this way. It's always been a plus-sized V4 engine, 65 degree. They've never really changed the formula too much, and that's for good reason. This is a motorcycle that just simply works. It is so good. It just works. 
Uh, and that's why Aprilia did not need to really mess with the formula very much when they made this 2021. Uh, so this has, like I said, the same engine. It feels really similar to a 2019 uh, or a uh, 210 V4. I actually rode one earlier this year. We had one, it took it on track. I did a lot of miles on that. It was a loaner bike provided by Eurocycles. Um, so that was something that was a lot of fun, which is also where I got this motorcycle, by the way. Uh, they are a very nice dealership and they uh, cut me some good deals on my bikes because I bought this thing. Oh, got to change this uh, max speed there. Don't want to give myself away. <laughs> now, talking base level controls on the 2Ono here. Let's talk every contact point, then we'll get into fit and ergonomics and that sort of thing. Uh, the throttle is completely by wire and it does not feel quite as natural and seamless as a cable throttle. I have to admit, it feels a little artificial, but you get so many benefits from a completely ride-by-wire system uh, that you can manipulate and do all kinds of stuff with your bike. You can get auto blip down shifters, you can get cruise control, all kinds of cool features that this bike has that you couldn't get with a cable throttle. Um, this bike does a bit of a funny thing when you actually roll on the power. Uh, the servo at the exhaust opens up and you can really hear it and feel the exhaust sound. It's really, really cool. But the throttle response is, is a little bit... Uh, kind of herky-jerky when that servo motor opens and when you're kind of mid-throttle, maintenance throttle, uh, it feels a little choppy. Um, it feels like it's kind of wanting to just go, 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 you know? It kind of has an old-school Lamborghini feel about it where it's like, why are we low in the revs? Let's go, go, go! So that's a bit funny from the throttle's perspective. Uh, brakes here, you really shouldn't even question it. M50 calipers, pinching a 330 mil rotor, generous master cylinder here. You have no problem stopping this thing. You can pretty much just use a two finger brake. And look at that, <laughs> there's a lot of stopping power here on tap. Um, moving over to the clutch side of things, you know, you don't really engage the clutch very much because as we mentioned, up and down quick shift, you know? So you go here, fourth gear, fifth gear, throttle off, fourth, third, second. Uh, it's, you know, kind of super scooter-esque in that way. It's what the new bikes are all doing nowadays. So clutch feel is, uh, you know, not something you really have to worry about. You take off from a stoplight and it works like a clutch. It would, doesn't really, I don't really have any complaints or issues with the clutch feel. Uh, gearbox feel is great. Very tactile, very positive, very engaging and rewarding to move through the gearbox on this thing, particularly when you have it on the gas a little bit and you get to, Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> Works very seamlessly. I'm very excited to take this 21 to 10 v4 on factory because both the RS660 and the 20 v4, the 2019 that I took on track earlier this year, they all had downshift problems, let's say. Uh, I call it blip lock, where you're fully off the throttle, you're stamping on the gear, and the bike just refuses to let you downshift because it thinks there's not enough revs to allow you to uh, grab the gear down. Um, that is not really the case with this on a street pace like this, as you can tell. Roll off the throttle, second gear, first gear, it's completely fine. The rear brake actuation is pretty good. I find my foot kind of gets in the way a little bit with the uh, engine cases here on the right. This bike is actually fitted stock with engine cases, which is kind of cool, but uh, it does tend to get a little bit in the way of my foot. But uh, the rear brake works great. It's a little squeaky like all the other Aprilias that I've tried, which is kind of funny. Uh, yeah, so that's a, that's a funny thing about it. So those are all the contact points on the bike. Let's talk about the star of the show, the engine. Oh my goodness, this engine, guys. <laughs> This 1077 V4 is just sublime. It's, the way I can describe it is if you had to go up to heaven and you were like, you know, sweet dear Lord Rossi, please give us a perfect motorcycle engine. It would probably look very close to this, uh, this 1077 CC mill right here on the RSV4. No doubt about it. Um, the power is broad, it's linear, it's ample, it makes a great sound. There's torque everywhere. Uh, there's nowhere where this bike feels slow. Like, look at this, it's third gear, about 3,000 RPM. You just, God, it doesn't matter what rev you're in, what range you're in, it just goes. And boy, does it go. <laughs> Good God, this thing goes. For a naked bike, this is super spicy. Uh, yeah, 
Unless you're talking ZH2s, this thing will pretty much dust up on any naked bike you bring towards it. I guess and the V4S too, the new Ducati, the Street Fighter, uh, that thing's pretty damn fast too. But yeah, this engine is just, just, just so amazing and sublime and you can't say enough good things about it. Uh, the rider triangle, let's talk a little bit about that. So seating position on this motorcycle, the seat is actually pretty comfortable and pretty ample fore and aft, right? I've got a lot of space to scooch back if I needed to, scooch up on the tank if I needed to. You can move around quite a bit on this motorcycle uh, without feeling cramped. Uh, because it has a nice handlebar right here, um, this is a bike that is pretty much all day comfortable unless you're very, very compromised with your back. Um, even for me, I've, I've got a pretty messed up back and uh, I feel like I could ride this thing all day long if I really needed to. Uh, the factory edition here does come with a handlebar that is about an inch lower than the base edition to Ono. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. And the other thing to keep in mind is that Aprilia pretty much spec'd the exact same foot pegs, I think, from the RSV4. And so from a uh, foot peg position, um, you know, this is quite cramped. It's very sport bike-like. This is very, very much like an RSV4. Uh, not as bad as a Fireblade. Nothing is as bad as a Fireblade with the foot pegs. I don't feel like my heels are about to touch my butt. Um, but compared to something like a ZH2, the uh, Tuono is a nice middle ground, very sporty, tons of clearance. I don't think you would ever encounter a case where you're scraping pegs uh, unless you're at like 60 degrees of lean at the track and you're probably about the low side, to be perfectly frank. Um, so the rider triangle's great. Seat height's a little tall in this thing, about 32.5 inches. So uh, riders who are a bit shorter stature might find it a little intimidating. Um, and that's gonna bring me to my next point, which is this bike is a little tricky to do the one foot down trick if you're a smaller rider, uh, simply because it uh, weighs 461 pounds, which I am not a fan of. You might think that doesn't sound like a lot, given that an MT-10 weighs like 440 and kind of new would make your bikes all weigh that much, but uh, you really feel the heft on this thing. You really feel the weight of this motorcycle. It's a dense, heavy bike. The other thing I don't quite understand why Aprilia has done is the lock-to-lock -lock is really shallow. Uh, you can't really pivot this bar very much, and I don't understand why. They've got lots of space here where the steering head could have pivoted more, uh, so I'm, I'm not sure why the lock-to-lock uh, -lock here is so shallow, but that's a bit of a, a weird quirk of this machine. So, yeah. Uh, smaller riders might have a bit of a harder time. It's 32.5 inch seat height, you know, and it's a little tricky for a lot of folks. Uh, kind of hard to maneuver, especially at 461 pounds. I would have liked to have seen this thing tip the scales right at like 425, 420. It would have been pretty much spot on for this category of bike. And it would have just made it in a little bit extra spicy. But uh, the RSV4 is a little bit of a porker too, I think at 450. So what are you really gonna do, you know? All right, folks, feeding the power here on the Aprilia. This is first gear. Yeah, it's rapid, absolutely rapid motorcycle. Jeez, that's a ton of fun. Got to be careful on these uh, roads like this where a lot of people are stacked up like this. You got people popping out, so you can't really be speeding by a bunch of parked cars. That's a really bad idea. So pick your moments, folks. Pick your moments. Now let's talk about this smart suspension this bike has. This is the Olin's Smart EC 2.0 system. Uh, this is, I believe, the same set of forks that come on the Fireblade. Uh, I, I'd have to really look that up. That's a little nitty gritty for me personally. But uh, this is a bike with very sophisticated suspension. It's fully adjustable, obviously, preload front and rear, compression and rebound front and rear. But the cool part is, you see these little wires sticking out of here. That means that you can actually adjust the parameters through the computer on the system, on the bike, rather than having to pull out a spanner or for your preload collar or, uh, you know, a little hex key to pop in preload up and down. You know, you can actually get in there and change the bike settings. And you can actually do it on the fly, too. I have it in sport mode right now because I like to be a little sporty. Come on, I'm having some fun with the bike. Uh, but you can put it in comfort mode. Uh, I believe there's a, a road mode and sport mode and track mode. I think there's four modes, but I'd have to double check. Uh, I did not have time to uh, look at that before I left today because I literally got this bike like two days ago and I've been a little busy. Um, but as I mentioned, fifth gear here, 
broad spread of power. That's that's the thing I always come back to on this bike is just how goddamn ample the power band is. There's power everywhere and it just feels so righteous. I think that's the word. Because uh, as you know, Tuono means thunder in Italian and uh, it's a very thunderous engine, very cool. Going down the road here, it blows my mind that Aprilia makes this bike with a handlebar. It's so smooth and comfortable from a bump perspective, you know? Going over bumps like this, these uh, Olin's electronically adjustable suspensions, um, you know, this fork and this rear shock here, takes care of bumps so nicely. Even in sport mode, uh, the sophistication with which the suspension works is so nice, dude. Um, that's the thing, like this Aprilia, the Tuonos, all these Italian bikes, you know, people like to clown on them because they cost a bunch of money and they're expensive, but man, you do get what you pay for. This is super nice and premium. Uh, I love the look out of the dash here. It makes it feel like a much more expensive motorcycle. And I feel really exotic on it, you know, this feels like a bike that I can... Oh man, that's good. It's a bike you can really get along with and have fun with and just ride every day if you wanted to. And this isn't even the comfortable one. This is the factory, which is the race bike technically, the kind of super track ready one. Uh, you know, we got this one because it's the top of the line and we wanted to give you guys a really cool bike that you could be proud to own. But firstly, if it was my money, I'd probably just get the base because that's so good too. The base comes with the same engine, same frame, same swing arm. You're not really missing out on much by getting the, the base. So, yeah, this is, I mean, for a, for a highway perspective here with this small windscreen, it just feels like any other naked bike would. And if you're used to that, you can totally be used to this. This is perfectly comfortable for me. This is a bike I could ride all day long and not really feel any type of way about. Uh, and it's cool to think that the base model now is even more comfortable and touring focused, which, I mean, if you're gonna get a sport touring bike, dude, why not get a Tuono base, man? That's a pretty good deal right there. Clicking it into sixth gear here, doing a little bit of uh, hyper miling on the Tuono V4, trying to reduce my fuel consumption a little bit. You can tell that this new Tuono actually has a gas gauge up here at the corner. Wow, finally, uh, Tuono has a gas gauge, not just a gas light. Uh, it's, it's so weird that that's only just caught on with some of the European manufacturers. They only very recently started putting gas gauges on their bikes. Um, I remember the R1 we had in 2020 uh, did not have a gas gauge. It just blows my mind that some people are willing to get these bikes without gas gauges. Kind of crazy. Let's see if we can just split on ahead here. I don't really feel like waiting in line. Not on a Tuono. So yeah, it's got its updated gas gauge. The, the lookout here for the TFT is really nice. Um, but I think there's... There's one final thing we gotta see about this Tuono, and that is how it handles a wonderful twisty road, and if this 175 horsepower uh, V4 is just a little too much for the street, if it's manageable, if it's playful, if it's good, uh, we gotta go play with it a little bit. But uh, we are definitely gonna do a pull at this light. No doubt about it. God, Alfa Romeo got in my way. <laughs> Jeez, man. God, the Tuono is so good. <laughs> oh, man. It just does everything perfectly. But we do have to see about that twisty road. So let's get it out to our, our fabled little twisty road section up here. And uh, we'll have some fun with it. I mean, just, just listen to that bark, dude. Oh, my God. All right, folks, up here I like to test a bike suspension because there's a very bumpy bit of road right up here. We'll see how this Tuono does. It's soaking it up all right, even in sport mode. <laughs> yeah, I think for uh, average street application, God, these Olins are just so top shelf, dude. I mean, how can you fault anything on this bike you'd have to just nitpick to find things wrong with it it's it's so good it's so freaking good dude 
God, it doesn't get any better than that. That's the best sound in motorcycling. All right, folks, twisty road section here with some traffic up ahead of us. So we're gonna be running that that old street pace and obviously not pushing this bike. As I mentioned, definitely taking it on track. So don't you worry about that. But uh, yeah, how, how can you fault this motorcycle, man? How can you possibly fault this bike from side to side? It literally feels absolutely perfect. Um, it's neutral once it finds the line it just sticks to it and holds it like look i'll take this later apex here it just works so well um <laughs> it's amazing and even going at this kind of turtle pace here with all these cars ahead of me uh this is a fantastic experience because i'm upright i'm not super leaned over and committed like i would be on a uh you know on a super bike i'm not i'm not hunched all the way over and you know being like oh my god i gotta go fast i'm i'm nice and calm and relaxed here you know i can kind of just cruise and just chill which is a really cool thing to do on a bike that makes 175 horsepower and 89 foot pounds of torque it's a nice thing you know oh it just dives in so beautifully doesn't it look at it just look look at this bike dude Oh my god, man. <laughs> it's hard to explain how that feels, you know? Because you just say, oh, yeah, we just took a corner. What's the big deal? I, the, the, the way it's composed, the way it just... I feel so confident in this bike's ability to guide itself through a corner. I don't feel like it's going to get itself tied into knots or get bent out of shape or do anything weird. It just feels so stable and predictable. Um, yeah, man, like... Jeez, this thing's good. And the spread of power, you know, because it's so linear and smooth, I mean, you can really ride it really tame if you want to, you know? Because you're more upright, you can just kind of cruise and enjoy the bike. You don't have to go ballistic pace, super spirited street pace on this bike to have a good time with it. Uh, you can definitely enjoy it as a, as a bit of a cruiser motorcycle, you know? Obviously it's not a cruiser, but as a, as just a fun, competent sport naked, you can totally just vibe with it, you know? Like you can really charge these corners and take them in second gear if you wanted to, but uh, you can also be in third gear, as I'll show you guys here, third gear just cruising through these. You have plenty of torque down low. And you can just guide the bike through and enjoy it and relax it and catch up to this Bronco that is unfortunately in the way. Yeah, man, the Tuono is just, it's a magical bike. It's a magical bike. I said that when I rode the other one earlier this year, the 2019. I'll say it when I ride this 21. Ain't nothing like a Tuono, man. <laughs> There's nothing like a Tuono. Jeez, this thing's good. There's, God, there's power everywhere. There's just literally power everywhere. Anywhere, anytime, anywhere. Jeez, man. That's fantastic. So we'll talk a little bit about the suite of electronics. Um, you know, you've got advanced traction control, wheelie control. This bike does have an IMU, which is a really nice touch. Uh, so it's measuring all six axis of rotation on this thing to keep you in check. Uh, you finally have engine brake management as well on this motorcycle, which is different from the 2019. That's a trickle down tech from the uh, RSV4. So, I mean, really, man, you can dial this thing exactly to your preference, exactly how you'd want to ride it, and you can get this thing sorted for your style. You could have it comfortable mode with, uh, you know, maybe not a lot of engine braking so you can kind of hear the bike kind of roll down the revs. You can, you know, put it in sport mode, get all the engine braking you want. Um, it's, it's really cool, dude. Like, there's very little you can fault with this bike, if, if, if anything. Um, yeah. Yeah, why don't we, uh, why don't we have a little bit more fun with it? We'll go pull off and we'll wrap up our thoughts and initial first ride impression on this magnificent motorcycle. much fun dude golly that's good 175 horsepower never felt so usable like in this motorcycle that is insane that is ridiculous oh 
God, it just picks up speed in an insane way. Alrighty, folks, that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks so much for joining me. Remember, the code V4X is going to be uh, 4X entries for every dollar you spend on merch.yamu.co or on shop.yamu.co. And you get 10% off with that code as well. Uh, final thoughts on the Tuono V4 on our first uh, go around with it, the first ride. It's a 10 out of 10, dude. This is, this is literally a perfect naked bike and you don't need to look much further than this. This is, this is basically the hyper naked motorcycle perfected. Uh, it's a hard 10 out of 10 for me. Love this thing. It is a absolute weapon of a bike. So much fun to ride and uh, I'm gonna be enjoying it. So I'll catch y'all on the next one. See you later. Woo -hoo -hoo!